what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new jillian here today's agenda is trying to thrift for mystery boxes and thrift flips that's actually more like my weekend agenda as well because i'm sorry if you guys can hear my air it's just it's, it's real hot <laughs> um i have not put up any of the cargo skirts that i thrift flipped for a couple reasons um those were some of my earlier ones that i had done and after looking at it there were certain things about one actually both skirts that i just was not a fan of like I really feel like I want the pockets to be bigger so I might seam rip the pockets off and re-sew on bigger pockets. I'm just, I'm very anal and I am very much about quality so I don't want to put up anything that I feel like I'm not 100% proud or happy with. So that is that. I do have the pockets to like replace if I need to but I do want to thrift some things for mystery boxes because I have a lot of stuff that I've thrifted and set aside for mystery boxes but I, I want to add some filler pieces because I want you to at least be able to style one complete outfit from a mystery box so that's kind of what I am trying to do right now and then also I need to re-dye my hair so bad y'all like it's grown out so bad I have so many grays showing which I'm not even mad at because honestly once my hair starts going real like gray on top I'm gonna let the gray grow out and I'm still gonna dye my hair red it's just gonna be red with gray streaks and I'm totally down for it but I got the hair dye and the semi permanent for my ends because it's also turning like more of like a orangey reddish color which is not what I was going for I like the deep cherry red so I have a semi-permanent for that part. I have the dye for my roots, but I need more developers. So I need to hit up the beauty supply because I need to get more developer. And I also need to get more gel. Um, I use a very specific gel and I tried to use the Eco Style for this wash and go right here. And I just, it was not my favorite like the ego style is cool when i'm trying to slick a bun or a ponytail or whatever but when it comes to like my wash and go i have my gel that i love which was in my last like two vlogs ago no the last yeah like two vlogs ago that is the gel that i love to use it's very soft it has a very good um defining hold without the crunch so i need to get some more of that but yeah oh this is kind of close oh mm let me try and back up a little bit i don't need anybody slamming their car door into mine i think i could afford to go over just a little bit Ugh. okay i think i think we're good yeah we're good so anyways we're at the thrift so I'm just going to kind of look look around and kind of see what's in here. I don't really have like a particular plan in mind. I do have a couple things. Like I want to get some graphic t-shirts. I want to get some more denim to make some more of the skirts. And maybe some cool button-ups if I see it. But like this weekend, I am legitimately going to attempt to work on thrift flips all weekend. So I could get the custom pieces up on my website. Because that's like one of the things that's not up there yet. And then I want to work on cleaning that suede bomber jacket that i have um so yeah there's like just some some things like that that i really want to work on and that's what i'm gonna do so <sighs> let's go in the thrift i'll show you guys if i come across anything interesting but if there's like nothing really interesting in here then in scene and we gonna we gonna be on to the next scene <laughs> This is so cool and I honestly think it's worth, has shoulder pads and everything, super vintage. Totally worth trying to see if I can get the staining out. I'm definitely gonna try. Love the cut. It's so cute. Let's see how much it is. Not bad. I got a little bit distracted. Um, I met somebody in here who was going to Burning Man and I was helping him pick out a few things and that was like so much fun. But now I am, back on track this dress is so cute oh my gosh 
I'm back on track and I'm gonna show you guys what I have in my cart. It's pretty full, cool, but I found some cool things. Now, I'm not gonna get everything, but everything is worth noting, so I do kinda wanna show you everything. Okay, so I found this dress right here, and look at this. Now, it does have some staining right here, but this is a for real, like, vintage piece. I wanna say it even looks like 60s, 70s. And so, I am very tempted on that just because it's such a unique piece also saw this little set right here the thing that pulled me in on this is the little cropped jacket but also i just feel like the dress could be really cute we'll see this is another one that feels very 70s and i'm gonna try this one it looks like it could be really cool and like fitted this is the brand and then these really hope these fit me but if not i might get these for a mystery box but look at that the belt is rugged but i do love that about it they're like this really cool <laughs> linen style paper bag pant also found this right here which i think is really cool could go great in a mystery box also this one as well and then i'm still kind of like debating on this one i think it's really cool pearl with a pearl strap and so i think that's really cool and then this one is like a little chain mail bag that i think is really cute and then i found this leather blazer which i already have a brown leather blazer so if i got this it would be for a mystery box so we're gonna see and then of course i have this and all of these oh i want to show you guys this leather jacket bcbg super cute and then this like vintage sweater oh my gosh i got some stuff too <laughs> so this is kind of like what we're working with so far i need to make some selects this is one of the coolest jackets the shoulder pads are so major oh my gosh some i of my have stuff. to get this hold on i have to get this okay this could be such a cool so one of the buttons came off i have to put the button right here but like having this i can tell there is another button missing that probably should have been here so i could potentially take this one and move it here and then i have the other one that just came off right here that i could put up here and then you can kind of like unzip this i don't know and then i just think it looks really cute like this and it's real leather so I think I'm gonna go ahead and for sure snag this. The price is so good and I can never resist a unique leather piece. This little vintage number is actually super cute. Um, again, feels like 60s, 70s. It actually just has like a snap. So I'm trying to think if I would wanna include this in a box. I just feel like it's such a unique, cool piece. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to think about it. Okay, this is the dress. It is zipped within an inch of its life. <laughs> but uh, this is such a cool dress. I just feel like it's so worth it. So I feel like I have to get this because it's such a cool, unique piece. Um, not super in love with this actually at all um not for me but this is definitely for somebody so far these are the things that i'm passing on this has a hole right here i cannot fix that I'm gonna pass on this so sad about this i wanted to get this for one of you guys even though it doesn't fit me but this is like when you touch it it literally disintegrates on the floor and you can kind of like well you can't see but it's like all over the floor and you can't even like detach it so still debating about this i'm just not 100 percent sure the price is kind of high on that um i thought this was cool but i didn't want to get hold on yeah this is from zara didn't really want to get any fast fashion here so there's that like i told you guys passing on this and i was gonna get this but it has like a little snag on it and i'm not really crazy about the material so i'm just gonna try this on and then kind of go through those t-shirts to see all right I'm not really crazy about this, <laughs> so it's not zipped all the way, but 
I can just tell. I'm not gonna love this. If it was short, ooh, if I shorten this, I feel like I would love it. Ooh, the material feels, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I love this. Think it could be really cute with an outfit. Now, here's the thing. This is 100% silk and it has like a linen patch right here. I don't love the way that this looks on me. However, I know that if I were to get it shortened into a mini, I would love it. So I am considering getting it. And then also I would have this to be able to play around with. Because shoot, I could even like close it like this. Let me see. And wear this like a crop top. Oh, that's so cute. I have to. Yeah. And then I'm going to just get this shortened. All right, this is wild. My hip is, my waist is not this tiny, but it has a lot of room like right here. So whoever wore this was really curvy, but had a very tiny waist. It's super cute, but definitely too small for me. All right, this skirt is actually still here. I didn't get it last time. Um, it's actually way kind of big on me. I mean, I guess if I were to wear it low rise, it wouldn't be that big, but kind of cute actually so I like the detail at the bottom so I might consider we'll see what is up you guys it is the next day and I am actually at Salvation Army I made my way over here I got a last minute order for a box that I am working on today I have a couple of the items already this is going to be very interesting because this is somebody who um, their style is like really cool, edgy. They like a New York type of style. They like neutral, scared of prints, uh, animal prints in general, <laughs> which is so opposite of me. But it's like, after looking at their Pinterest board, I feel like I have a great idea of what it is that they're looking for. I'll go ahead and insert it right here. But the style of this person is very classic, simple. I feel like they really thrive on staple pieces. They probably be somebody who works really well with the capsule wardrobe. So I have a few pieces that are really cool and interesting that I'm gonna include that will get them out of their box a little bit, but still fits directly into what it is that they are looking for. But I am gonna go in here. They had requests on their um, list for silk blouses like just really nice blouses overall i want to try to find them a really cool leather skirt because that was one of the things that they requested that's a little bit harder to find but we're going to keep our fingers crossed and see but i'm going to run in here see what i can find i'm also still thrifting for mystery boxes that i'm going to put together so i have about three different um thrift stores that i want to go to today and then i still have to go to the beauty supply to get the developer to dye my hair so that is the plan for today. I have my coffee. I have a headache starting right here, which I know is in, in part due to the fact that I did not sleep enough. I had a wild set of dreams last night, okay? Let me tell you. And I already kind of, it's coming together. It's like with my dreams, I don't always immediately know what I'm being told, but with this particular one, it's like it's hitting me throughout the day the different meanings and it's quite interesting it's it's definitely a direction it is a direction and a hey be cautious of this but this is what I want you to do so I I, I have to listen so but yeah I woke like I was kind of almost startled out of my sleep not out of fear but just kind of like a like I woke up like that <laughs> <laughs> and so because of that I really feel like I did not get as much rest as I was hoping to get I have my friend ask me because she knows I dream like a lot five to eight dreams a night let me tell you and she asked me she was like do you ever feel well rested like do you ever feel like you sleep because it just seems like you're doing so much work when you're sleeping like how do you actually feel rested and I told her it's truly grace because my mind be going like when I sleep I'm awake somewhere else my spirit is awake and alive somewhere getting taught getting instruction getting lessons getting warnings getting like oh my gosh like it's insane I don't actually sleep I feel like but my body rests 
but my mind, my spirit, it does not. <laughs> so anyways, I am gonna try to, I wonder if I have something. I think I took my last one like a few days ago, but I actually do carry this little pill box that I thrifted. This is actually, I found out this is from the 1920s and they actually sell for a decent amount online. I really wish that I had made it to that thrift store when um, more of them were there because the girl had told me somebody came and bought a few of them. I wish that somebody was me. But I don't even have any aspirin in my bag. So I'm just gonna have to pray for myself. Pray my headache away because the girl is struggling and it's behind my eyes. So anyways, I am going to run in here pull up this board so I can see again like I like to refresh my mind for what I'm looking for so if I don't get a lot of footage please forgive me but it is very important for me to get these boxes right one of my boxes was actually delivered and she sent me an email she gave me full permission to share with you guys she said you know please share this um, and I was just so relieved it's right here and she was just basically telling me how she loved all of the pieces that I picked for her and she's gonna style them up and send me pictures which I cannot wait girl to see how you style these pieces up but it just made me feel so good because a part of me was like really nervous because I want to pick things that you guys love it's not one of those things where it's a cash grab and I'm just throwing whatever in these boxes like a lot of thought goes into these boxes when I'm building them for you and I'm really truly trying to find things that I think you will wear forever things that are special things that you'll want to like hold on forever so yeah that message made me feel really really good and I was so happy to receive that it was like the cherry on top of my day yesterday so thank you so much girl for sending me that I'm so happy you love your box and I cannot wait for you guys to start receiving your boxes I still have I think some of the boxes got delivered today and one will get delivered uh next week so yeah I'm gonna go in here see what I can find and take you guys with me let's go I feel like this is some Y2K girl's dream. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool though. I feel like there's somebody out there who could style this in a really cool, unique way. These are actually super cool. They are not my size, but these are by Chinese Laundry. Okay, I found these trees and no, mm, trousers. Um, it does have this staining right here, which could come out, but I'm gonna see. This might be worth it to try to pick these up for somebody. Maybe not the box I'm working on, but I'm gonna continue to go through these and see what I find. I also realized I forgot my tape measure at home, so I'm really winging it with the prayer right now. This is really cool. I feel like this goes with the style that she sent me. Now there is this staining right here, but I'm gonna try to wash this because this is only gonna be $12.99 and I do like this collar. I think that could be really cute. So I also saw these velvet pants, which I think could be really cool, but we'll see. I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna continue to go through the rest of here and see like what else I can find. I just wanna show this. I don't have a board that I'm working on right now for this, but this really cool Anine Bing blazer, these are not cheap, so really cool this is so cute it's by the it's vintage but like gosh you can't really see it's not doing it justice but it's like little crop jacket I don't have any boxes for this right now but super cute I really love this linen set by J. Jill. It comes with this really pretty skirt um, I think I'm gonna snag this because I don't have any boxes for this yet, but I just feel like this is gonna be great for someone. Maybe I'll put it in a mystery box. Okay, this is really tempting for me because it is a Gap dark denim oversized denim jacket and there is a type of thrift flip that I'm looking to do with a denim jacket. So I'm gonna snag that for now and think about it. And then, ooh, this colorful leather. <gasps> this is so cute. 
I think I have to get that. Somebody is gonna really appreciate that. This is so cute. It's like the sheer button up. I think I'm gonna snag that for a mystery box. Gosh, you guys remember when Wild Fox was it? Okay, so I'm going through these blouses. Ooh, that's pretty cute. I'm um, going through all of these blouses because she requested silk blouses. So I really want to try to find her some silk blouses or really nice like cotton linen blouses. So I am going to go through all of these blouses to see what I can find. This is so cute. Look at this. I can tell it's 100% silk. It is definitely not my size, but let me see what is going on here. Ah, I think I see, hold on. Oh, no, okay, perfect. Is there something going on with this? Hold on. Okay, it's damaged here. And then on the sleeve right here, is it on this one? Yeah, there's like a little hole right here, but oh my goodness. It's like, is that worth fixing? It's so cool. I don't know. This is so cool. It's like cropped. I love this detail right here. So I'm gonna snag this for now, we'll decide. Um, and then I also saw this. I thought this could be really cute, cute <laughs> cropped, but I'm gonna leave this behind. This is such a cute, like little cropped cashmere top, but I'm not gonna get it because it is stained in the armpits. You can't really tell on camera, but that is not gonna be easy to get out. So I'm gonna see if I can find any more silk shirts. I still have this and like all of over there to look through. This is such a cool little vintage top. And this one, let's see what this one looks like. Okay, that's cute, but not really on the list for anyone I'm shopping for. Oh, here's another J. Jill Linen. I wonder if this, I think this matches that skirt. I mean, it's a little stained right here. You could probably get that out, but we'll see. I'm gonna check and see if it matches the set that I already have. I feel like I have to get this Maggie London, size four. Perfect condition, still has the tag on it. I think this will be great for a box. I think this is so pretty. All of this embroidery, what is it made out of? Wool and Angora. Doesn't look to have any holes. I'm gonna go ahead and snag that. This is such a beautiful vintage dress. I feel like I'm gonna get it because there's gonna be somebody who wants something like this. Like that is so beautiful. Found this Lanvin blazer right here. Um, doesn't really fit a box that I have going right now, but I think I'm gonna snag it anyway for a future box. I'm just gonna look over it for damage. Just found this really pretty Evan Bacconi. Like it's like an iridescent, if you could see it. It comes with the matching blazer, size 18, but I don't have any orders for this right now, but such a cool piece. I'm gonna go through all these blazers just to kind of see what's in here and then move on to a different section. I might even be done with the store. I think this is so cool. This is definitely good for somebody. I don't know who yet, but um, going through the men's now because the men's is typically where I find a lot of like silk shirts. So I'm gonna go through here and see like what I can find. This is a really pretty shirt in silk. Um, I think this might be a stain, but I'm not sure. I feel like this is something that can just come out. I just gotta wash it. So I'm gonna snag this because this fits perfectly with the neutrals and everything for one of my boxes. I wish so badly I had a box for this, but this is like an extra small tartan skirt. And the cool thing about this is that this is actually real leather. 
This is the brand right here. And it's super heavy. This would be so cool for somebody who is an extra small. Oh my gosh, this is the matching top to that one other. I need to go, should I get that? Should I go find that and get this for someone? What size is this? Four. I don't know, let me know, it's very unique. Okay, so this is my rack of everything that I'm going through. So for starters, I think I'm 100% gonna get this. I feel like somebody's gonna really love this. This fits perfectly for the box I'm working on right now. This is just, oopsie. This is just too cool to pass up. This again fits in the box. This I actually think my mom might like, so I'm gonna text her. I also came across this. It's half off, it's only gonna be $6, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. Um, I can't get this because it has an odor. I can't, this has some like damage right here. This is the Lom Bon Blazer. <sighs> I'm not gonna get these things. Still thinking I'm gonna get this because I feel like I could really get the stains out of this. I'm going to try this on to kind of see if it'll fit something. I also think that this is pretty cool for a box. I love the print of this, but I don't love that it's polyester. This is cool too. It's like a nice little Levi's, but I just feel like I could get that anywhere. This is really pretty and has no damage. So I really think I'm probably going to get this. I think this would go really cute. Probably for, it could even go with the box I'm working on. We'll see this not gonna get um make it that i'm not sure this actually i'm not gonna get that not going to get the anine bean blazer now this is just the last thing i really have to think about this actually could fit my husband really nice now that i'm thinking about it so i think these are the only things that i'm gonna get Okay, I think I'm gonna pass on this because I don't even have any things to add to this like for a mystery bundle. Um, just inspecting this. I just feel like this is really pretty. I'm gonna try this on and see. And then I think I just don't love the fact that that's polyester. And let me just try this on. This vintage piece is honestly, almost so worth it look at it it like collapses that's so cool i love that i wish i had somewhere to put this and i love these like little tables i feel like does this actually kind of like go look it's so cool Look at these really cool lamps. These are for sure vintage, you can tell because of the plug. This switch doesn't work. That could be a problem, but there's two of them. Super cool. Look at this vintage like box. This is so cool. It's a little damaged right here but you can tell this is real leather. Has this leather strap. Like I'm kind of considering it, not gonna lie. Cause I feel like it's so cool, but it's $20. I don't know. Dang, somebody came and brought some really cool like vintage pieces. Like, look at this. And it's real wood. Is this $7.99? Like, that's really cool. I think I want to get this for somewhere in my house. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Ooh, 300. Wow. But this is so cool. Somebody would eat this up. This is also super cool. It's like a wooden pretend golf set. It's missing some pieces, but it's only $10.99. This will be so cool for a guy's office. All right, I am done in there. And that was actually very successful. I got a couple things for one of the boxes that I'm working on. And 
some other things for future boxes or just to list. I at currently, between the dress that I just got there, I got that really pretty vintage dress, and then I got a really pretty vintage dress yesterday, which you guys, if I don't know if you remember the halter dress, but I feel like I might just put those up on my website by themselves for anybody who is interested because those types of vintage dresses are so hard to find and they're so expensive when you find them so i think i'm gonna list those for sale i'm not gonna make them too too expensive but obviously they're authentic true vintage dresses and they're beautiful so we'll see i might put those up there but now i'm heading to um, I might stop at the Goodwill over here and then hit up Hope with the Valley on the way back and then I think that will ground out my thrifting and it's still pretty early because I wasn't in there too long and then I'll be able to like have the rest of my day because I still need to do my hair, my son's hair, he wants to dye a few of his locks this color and I want to work on some thrift flips so that is another thing okay i am at the next thrift store i'm at a goodwill but i did want to take this second to address one of the questions that i keep getting and one of the questions that i keep getting is am i going to do plus size boxes if you look on the form i ask for your measurements there is no limit if you give me your measurements and i can find things for you then i will thrift for you i'm not going to exclude anybody who's plus size if you are interested in a box just make sure you include all of your sizes and I will see if I can um, curate a box for you and find the things that you need. But yes, I am going to be doing plus size boxes as well. So don't be afraid to fill out the form and put in your inquiry. That way I can kind of get a head start and kind of be looking when I'm out thrifting to see if I can find things for you. So the answer to your question is yes. Okay, now I'm at the Goodwill. We're going to go in here. I want to try to see if I can find more blouses for this box that I'm working on and maybe some leather. All right, I am done in there. I didn't film in there as much as I thought, but I only got two things. One of the things I'm not gonna show you because I want it to be a surprise for one of the boxes that I'm working on. Leather vest right here. This little pink rose on the back. It was just a cute vest, too cool to pass up. But now I am headed to, oh, I'm getting out of, I need a, another thing of hand sanitizer in here. But now I'm headed to one more thrift store. And then I think, cause I have quite a few things for the box that I'm working on already, but just kind of like the finishing touches, you know? So then I'm gonna go and see what I can find over here at Hope. And then I think we're gonna be done. And then I can go get my hair developer to dye my hair. See you in Hope. Once. All right, I didn't really find what I wanted to find in there, so I think I might go to one more store, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna stop for a little lunch break, and then I'll probably go to another store after that. I don't even remember where I left off yesterday, but it's definitely a whole day later. Hair is dyed, thank God, and I am headed home because I need to start packing up um, the box that I've been working on so when I get home I'm going to show you guys uh, some items from the board and what I put in the box <laughs> and I'm not gonna show you everything like I said I like for them to be a little bit surprised but I'm gonna show you some items from her board some items that I put in the box and then I'm gonna pack that up to get ready to ship to her tomorrow she was like dang that was quick but she didn't realize like everything that she had asked for um was things that are pretty easy for me to find not to mention because i have been thrifting for all sizes and things for future boxes some of the stuff she asked for i already had so that should be fun so i will show you guys some of those things and um yeah should be pretty exciting she has a few leather pieces in her box because she really wanted some leather so i'm so happy that i was able to do that for her but yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit at home and then we are gonna wrap up this video all right we're home so i'm gonna show you three items that's in her box and 
basically what inspired me to pick these items for her. So the first item that I want to show you was inspired by these pictures. So I noticed she had a lot of beaded jackets on her board. This one by Balma is actually on one of my private boards. So I thought it was funny to see that. Um, I definitely am going to try to figure out a way to like make myself this jacket eventually we'll see but she also had this one which had a black type of like background with silver beading and then she had this other one right here and so when i saw these and these are not the only ones these are just the ones that i took pictures to show you guys but when i saw this um or these pictures i just kind of felt like this piece would be perfect for her so the piece that i am including in her box is this piece right here it's a very beautiful beaded sequin jacket. It very much gives the Balmain vibe and it is 100% silk and beading. And I just knew that this would just be perfect for her. I just love this jacket so much, but I already have so many of these, including one that is this colorway. So um, definitely was tempted to keep it, but she's gonna love this. Now, speaking of silk, she had a lot of silk pieces on her board and she also put in her request specifically that she wanted some silk pieces. So when I saw this photo right here, I knew this piece would be perfect because not only did she say she loves neutral tones, but she also said that she loves all blues. So I just felt like this blouse would be perfect. And the blouse that I picked is this silk blouse right here with the blue piping. It's 100% silk, a nice creamy neutral, but it does have the blue tones that she loves. And it just reminds me of the vibe of that blouse on her board that was the cream and the black. So I just felt like this would be a great piece for her. And it is oversized, I feel like, enough based on her measurements to give her that blousey effect that she's looking for. So this will definitely also be in her box. The last item that I want to show you guys, it, she had two of these that I remember right now. There might be more than one, but she had like two of these in her Pinterest board and it was like a leather bomber jacket. She had a brown one, she had a black one. I knew that she was like really wanting a leather bomber jacket. So when I saw this, I was like, this is exactly what she's looking for. I have to get it for her. So I thrifted this leather bomber jacket right here 100 percent leather of course you know i do not thrift fake leather and so i saw this and knew that this would be perfect for her so this is going to give her the perfect oversized fit that she's looking for based on her measurements in the picture and i just cannot wait for her to get all of these items she has a total of like nine or ten items in her box but this is just three of them but I just hope that she loves this box. I'm gonna ship it out to her first thing on Monday so she can enjoy her pieces. But that is just an example of how I pick things based on your request and your Pinterest board. I cannot tell you enough how helpful it is for you to send me a detailed Pinterest board because it gives me a lot to work with for you. So those are the picks if you guys are interested in getting a curated box i will leave the link in the description box as well as pinned in my comments that is how you get yourself on the list everything like all the information and everything is on that form so check that out if you're curious about how the box works or the types of questions that i ask and i also have one mystery bundle up right now it is a vintage lover's dream it has 10 pieces in it all very vintage and i would say that it's best for a size medium or a small large so if you're interested in that box or you just want measurements of some of the main things in it because like maybe you're between a medium and a large and you just kind of want to know if these things will fit you hit me up i will give you some measurements of the pieces in there or if you want to send me your measurements that's better that's the better way to do it send me your measurements if you're interested in the box and i will tell you if i feel like the pieces will fit you or not because i will measure them so that is it for this video you guys thank you so much for joining me on my little thrift with me for you adventure i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye